We are live from Atlanta, Georgia's Dirty South Town. And I noticed they've cleaned this place up a bit. Yeah, I remember finding a lot more seven figures in my chili last time. And there were fewer bodies to step up in the men's room. Place is kind of losing its character. I miss the shit sandwiches. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Micro Hard Mutilators face off against the Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, hmm. uh, no, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Oh, you idiot. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. So much for the bombs way dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense for a second. Second down and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps outside and attacks the QB. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer Keska say, what the fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> and it's first and ten. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And it's first and ten. The boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. First and ten. The 
defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle the running. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and six. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, that was brutal. Some of his entrails are in the stands. I don't make a great souvenir for the kids. That's a six-yard gain. Second down and four. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. Picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him 10 yards right there. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. First and eight to go. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and six. Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Now this 
reminds me of a lap dance I had by a skeleton once. Oh yeah, after the mayhem ball at that club six feet under. Yeah, my wife could smell the bone marrow on me when I got home. Big trouble! <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking. And he picks up ten on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as if I made it again. the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Second and three. at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. And that's what's so frustrating about kickers. They're all head cases. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And the defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> First and two. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Jumped his bones. I just lost a saw buck on that play. 
And they line up for the extra point. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. You know this berserk dirty trick ain't fit. Oh man, Brooks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Well, two years ago, this guy was a buried, rotting corpse at the edge of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing scoring machine. What a story. What a what a wonderful story. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They get to be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Roid Rage, how do you like your brains? Scrambled or fried? One Roid Rage breakfast. Oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. And that'll bring up third and one. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. <laughs> and the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that's constant reminder. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Third down in. The punter is warming up. Man, what a hit that was. Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon. I'm hungry for bacon. The kick is good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I 
can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chick wearing a wig. <laughs> and it's first and 10. up a two. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And that'll be second and eight to go. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep And they take their last timeout. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And it's first and ten. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for ten yards. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. Third quarter about to begin here, and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Briggs started farting like the 4th of July fireworks finale. <laughs> The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll be second and eight to go. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and eight. Brick should house. Pow with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Should be easy, but.
but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the quarterback. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Target more often. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's crossing at the mouth. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. It sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, can I get a piss on Ron? Uh, yeah, you think you can go toe to toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin the world. I'm gonna wreck it. It's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. Pick up of seven on the play. Man, why is it mentally the clowns don't play football? They're all six, apparently. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. It's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and five. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Boring. Just give them. If you get one more bullshit pounding, you get one more for free. You'll also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref's dirty trick. <laughs> 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 
if they don't pick it up and they've had enough the offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Barry, the punt of the day is being played by my kid's sister, and she doesn't have... They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. up the first down and it's first and ten void rage because if you can't answer your question with violence ask another he broke free and has open field in front of him ten holy mother of mutant mayhem he scored two-point attempt quarter three comes to an end but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty whichever to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake it goes right through yeah like a double burrito from taco hell the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond First and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Ouch. What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> Second. 
second down and six. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. Quarterback rigged the ball to explode, and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> Third down and three. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, man! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Man, are these days greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. No one's going to stop him. That's two points. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Whoa. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Second down in a very long And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Let me tell you, getting shit is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel, he got blown across the room into the deer antlers. And it's first and ten. Receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. First time out under two minutes. The chain gun. Like Jess only. You can kill people. And that'll bring up first down he was not going to drop that one they need to make him a target more often well that's two times burn 
turned, and you have to wonder, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. for a nine-yard game. It kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Like if they did. And that'll bring up the first And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Oh. Okay, nice and easy like a two. You miss two foot pot all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. It's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least... And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this plan for me. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Nicely done for a first down. First and eight, and they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> the vultures limp away defeated. Yeah, they look so sad, Grim. I kind of feel sorry for them. They deserve a participation award. Screw those vultures. They fought tooth and nail, but in the end, lose by three. It's a hell of a thing losing at home. They took away all they've got and all they're ever gonna have. Yeah, well, they played like shit. Fuck them. Fuck them indeed, Junior. Let's go down to the field and see what that meathead has to say about his MVP award. Row with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.